Alright, so today I'm gonna start Super Mario Brothers 35. It's a new digital title that just came out that has a limited time thing going on with it. So this game apparently is gonna be delisted in March of next year. I'll probably play this once or twice. I'm thinking just this once to give it a go. I'm aware that this is apparently supposed to be like Tetris 99, which is a game I've played once or twice as well and liked it, but didn't care much for it. But yeah, so I really don't know much anything else about this except the fact that Nintendo is going to remove it, which is ridiculous because it's a digital title. It came out today, and it's somehow like Tetris 99 in the multiplayer factor. Participation in online matches may result in your nickname and game stats being shared. That's fine. My name's generic as it is. Okay, so 1-1. One, one. I don't know what any of this is, but alright. I, I assume these are different stages. I don't know what these at the right side are. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is somehow competitive, like we screw each other over, or if it's just who gets to the level the fastest and a certain amount win at that point, and anyone who straggles doesn't get to continue. I really don't know what this is about. I know it's Mario. I just don't know what the catch is with it. Okay, seems normal so far. It seems like there's some sort of fighting going on, I can't really tell what. So I'm not really sure what's happening. Oh. Oh! Okay. And you die on one hit, okay. Level up. 32nd place. Uh... Sure, I guess. I don't expect to do well at this. This is... I'm being thrown in front of a car. I have no idea what any of this is, aside from it being Mario. It seems like you can kind of target people in Tetris 99 and instead of adding more blocks in layers and stuff you get Goombas thrown into your game, I guess? And they pose as an extra hazard you have to try and overcome? Like that? These weird grayish light blue ones? Isn't this a... I can't get it anyway. I was gonna say, isn't that a superstar or something? Okay, so far so good. Whoa. Oh, come on. I barely nicked that one. I see some of the players already in stage one, two. Some people are fast at this. New icon. Lovely. That's pretty pointless in my opinion, because the game is temporary. That's the main reason why I'm actually playing this, is just so that I can have played it. And know I've played it, and have this recorded of me playing it, because the game is temporary. Although, it may not be the case, because... The jump rope challenge, whatever thing, with the stick figure bunny or whatever, that was supposed to be a temporary game as well. And it was supposed to be delisted yesterday, actually, but they... Instantaneously. They... Put out a message saying that they were going to keep it up because it did so well. So there's a there's a there's a false falsitude of FOMO in this that may or may not be true. So we'll know when this game gets close to the delisting whether or not it'll actually be delisted.
but who knows. Given the availability of all the little collectibles they've been putting out for the- because this is for the 35th anniversary of Mario. Given all the collectibles and the limited availability of the physical 3D All-Stars and such. Aw, oh, shit. I have a feeling that maybe they'll actually hold the word for this game. Because they can do that. They can throw it back into the Nintendo Vault as many of us have been now calling it, a la the Disney Vault. From the 90s and 80s and such. Which is completely pointless now because you have streaming digital stuff, but... The video games, you kind of do still have it now in Nintendo Scape because they love to hoard their games and such. This is a lot of Goombas! Holy shit, I've never seen so many Goomb... Buzz. It seems by the time you get to stage two, things kind of hit the wall. Defeat 20 enemies. Level up. Level seven. It seems I can, once I get to a stage, I can just jump to that stage. That's pretty neat. Albeit, I think it's going to get more difficult if you do that, because then you're going to have people who have reached that stuff as well still playing these levels. Or not? What's this? I thought I was going to start out in 1-2. Mario hit the block. Jeez. I honestly don't even know how to target other people in this game. So I can't really fight back. And if I am somehow, I'm not noticing it because I'm trying to pay attention to all of this. Insanity. Ooh, I knew that Goomba was gonna hit me too, that sucked. They are going savage on me. Whoever they are. Okay. Is everything gonna be good in here? Maybe? Crap. I'd love to do some dialogue, but... I don't really have the reactionary open time to... Uh, I guess I could try. I read the newest Game Informer today, and yes, I still do read Game Informer. It's fine. It's not too bad of a publication. It's getting worse because they're firing a lot of the writers and a lot of the space in the magazine is now being allocated for uh, ads, which is a bit iffy. It's honestly starting to look a little bit like a nondescript Xbox or PlayStation magazine where every other page is an ad. Except this isn't specifically for those consoles, it's just for random stuff. But they did have one good part at the end of the magazine. This is the... this is issue... 329. It's for... Kena Bridge of Spirits, which is actually a game I'm looking forward to for the PlayStation 5. Like, the year or whatever after it comes out that I'll be getting it. And at the end of the issue, they have a good piece about Atari and the E.T. video game, and more specifically, the guy who made it. I have it right next to me. Let me see who he is. I keep forgetting his name. Howard Scott Warshaw. So Howard Warshaw made the game, and I I've known about the guy for a while, but th there's only one part in this article. It it's a good write-up. It's a decent... If you've seen Ahoy or anything, you pretty much get the gist of the whole article. Oh, lovely. Thanks, Nintendo. That Nintendo Online I'm paying for, working its magic. 
Uh, at the end, in a part of the issue, it gets to a point where it talks about like, what did he do after it? Like, what did he do after it's ET? That's something I don't think most people really paid attention to. It's just like, yeah, he made this game, he went on and did his stuff. But after he put out ET, got fired by Atari, the industry crashed basically on its own from multiple bad games and mainly from really shit financial investment and money allocation on Atari's part because they were very arrogant in throwing Warner Brothers mo uh, Warner's money around. It wasn't Warner Brothers, it was Warner Communication. But Howard went and went back to school and became a psychotherapist after the industry crashed. So imagine, that blew my mind because I never knew what this guy did after he made Atari. Well, ma wow, made Atari. Made E.T. for Atari. And the idea that this guy, who was, to most popular opinion, to blame for ruining video games in the early 80s, he literally left, went back to school, and became a therapist for people. That is... To me, that is ballsy to be blamed for ruining an industry and then becoming a therapist, being like, yeah, I guess I'll just help people now. It's like, it's great, but at the same time, it's like, whoa, that's a kind of ballsy move right there, man. So I, I thought it was a good read. The rest of the article, it's like two pages long. It's decent. It's just stuff I already knew about Atari and them making him make the game and how annoying it was for him to get the job and all that. And eventually Atari just kind of sinking and being bought up by Commodore and such because Commodore had all the money in the world at that point due to the C64. And then Commodore sank in the mid-90s. And that was also a bit of a shit show. How many times am I going to do that today? I also don't know how long I'm going to play this. Probably... Maybe an hour. Maybe something around there. I don't know. I'm just playing this just to see what it is. It's not the funnest Mario Brothers I've ever played. This is kind of brutal, honestly. Like, I got Mario Brothers on my shelf right in front, right behind my TV and such. I could pop that into my NES and probably play pretty well out of this. Is this isn't really the same, honestly, even with the physics a little bit. They have it pretty down. I can tell visually it's not even the same game. Mario is... his color palette is all wrong. He's a very dark maroon red here. He is not that in the normal game. And yeah, j just some of these controls feel... It has... it's like trying to fake the slipperiness of the original, but it's also a little bit too touch-and-go compared to it as well. There's a little bit... I can tell that they recreated this. Whoa, 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 why am I here now? Okay, I'm at 1-3. I don't get why I'm at 1-3, I didn't even go to 1-2. This sucks. I'm running out of time. Well... I like this menu music, it's pretty catchy. It's got a good beat. Na 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 
All right, let's see. I'm going to focus on this one as much as I can. Although everybody seems to be targeting me. suck. I'm almost at the flag, though. Can I make it? Yes, I can. Now I'm probably gonna get more attention from other people. Yeah, I kind of am. Look at all these Goombas. Ah, oh, crap. I gotta wait this out. And I lost the shell. I should have got that Koopa. I could have really used it right here. I saw that coming. Yeah, this is just live, die, repeat. This isn't the most fun game so far, albeit I've only played it for... I've, actually, I've already played it for about 20 minutes, almost. It's not the most fun game, but it is addicting, weirdly enough. The, the the rounds are such short bursts that it keeps you wanting to try and do better. It's got that phone game thing where the more... Although it's not necessarily fun, it's got a high replayability factor. It's almost like a roguelike in that regard, where it just kind of sucks you in after you die. It's like, oh, you'll do better next time. You, you The more you play it, the more you'll get better. Except in this, there's not the phone game aspect of paying for improving to make it seem like you're doing better by using your wallet. And this, you just kind of have to keep doing it. This is truly the Dark Souls of Mario. Aw, oh, that sucked. I think I need to get up on top for this. Although I need to get a little bit of a size upgrade to get up there. I was thinking about doing some Ghost of Tsushima today, but I, I opted for this instead. I was like, hey, this just came out today. By the time that this goes up, it'll be like mid-October. <laughs> because I've been playing games too much, and I parsed them out pretty decently to allocate for time. Because yes, this I think will come out on October 12th, if my schedule is correct. And I'm playing this on October 1st. So that's how time works, kids. I am from the past. I'm gonna take you back to the past. Play the shitty games that sucked ass. So far, this game kinda has been a little ass. And you'll only be able to play this game in the past. In the future, where I... In the future, people who watch this will see it. Hello, how is the future? I hope it's better than so far, although I, I have questions as to whether things are going to get better or not. Okay, I gotta get up there. Alright, I'm on, I'm on top. It doesn't seem like anything can spawn up here, maybe? Ooh, ooh. Running out of time. 14 seconds, really. It also seems like the more... I, I do know that the enemies give you extra time as well. So that's useful in its own way. Oh boy, this ain't good. 
This ain't good. I'm trying to go sicko mode. Didn't work. I I I risked everything on that jump. Eh, seventeen. Alright, got got this stage unlocked, I guess. So how's your day been, random person? I hope it was good. Yeah, I don't really understand why there are different selections on the menu for what course you're going to when you start out. Some dude is... Oh, he's in the underground area. It's like somebody is already at section 1-2 <laughs> and we just started. I don't understand the menu of selecting the different stages when you always start at 1-1. That doesn't make any sense to me. What's the point of it? Is it a difficulty increase? Is it like a different class of players? What is it? This is a lot of enemies. Oh, I got stuck. This is also a rare instance for me. I never play online multiplayer games. And I don't have too many digital... I have a few digital games on my systems, but I think... What do I have on the Switch? I have Fast RMX. Pokemon Home is more of an application. It's not a game. Yeah, I have Fast RMX. I'm not really aware of having any other digital games. Like, even all my indie stuff is physical. Ooh, missed the jump right at the right time. Trying to really focus oh, on all the jumps. I just jinxed myself there. Wow, the Koopas hate me today, don't they? They do not want to go forward. They want to go backwards. Make the jump timing. Get up here. Let's go to... I love how there's two one-twos. Okay, this is as far as I've gotten in the game so far still. Good old 1-3. The stupid paratrooper. Ooh. Almost overshot that. Almost undershot that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I thought I was gonna die. Am I gonna do this? Oh, sweet. 1-4. Not sweet. This place is hell. Wait, no, am I back in 1-2? I'm back in 1-2. Ooh, ooh, I got ballsy. Oh, God damn it. I didn't pay attention to the second Goomba up there. I was trying to run forward and just blaze through that shell going forward. I forgot to pay attention to the ones up top. Poggers. So I had a weird dream last night, actually, and it, it, I, I tend to have dreams and remember them every night. I'm a weirdo like that where I can remember my dreams. 
which is apparently a rather uncommon thing for people, which I find kind of crazy, because that's... I wasn't paying attention. Because that's kind of the thing about having dreams, is you're generally supposed to have them every night. At least if you have a good night's sleep, whatever. But the dream I had was extremely vivid. And it's weird because I slept horrible last night, but then when I finally got to dreaming, it was this voodoo guy. Basically, it was like Princess and the Frog, but not... It was... I want to say... 1920s or 30s. I could tell from the style of the buildings and the cars. And there was this voodoo man who had this weird voodoo magic stuff. The kind of shit you would expect the Shadow Man and Princess and the Frog to have. Although there were no frogs in the stream. And I was this guy... I was not me, I was this random other guy who had apparently made some sort of deal with this guy and he was being all smooth and seductive with his black magic stuff. Not in like a sexual way, just in like a suave kind of way. Like, I can show you things you've never dreamed of. And he did some weird black magic stuff to me, sent me on some psychedelic weird trip thing with the with distortions and whatever else he was doing. I forget that much of the detail. I do remember at the end of whatever he did that I, I, cause I was interested in what he had to offer at first. And by the time he showed his little demonstration, I was kind of out of it. Like, you, you know, man, I think I'm good. I think I am all good. And I remember backing out of his office. He has like this 1920s, 30s, fancy wood walled clad curtains on the, on the windows overlooking a town on the second floor. And it's, it's all like very office proper. And he's sitting in this light brown chair with, a, with white cushions on it and such. And he's got like this kind of black and white floofy jacket on and such and he's got a he's kind he's kind of stereotypically does have the voodoo uh, man the shadow man's hat from princess and the frog it didn't look exactly like that but it was that same style kind of top hatish thing and i'm there just kind of in suspenders and overalls and that kind of stuff and i'm backing out i'm just like no uh, i'm good man I appreciate what you have to offer, but I'm going to go and I leave his secretary or assistant or something kind of meets me in the hallway and shows me into a bar that's down at the bottom. And I've never been in a proper bar myself because I don't drink, but it was weird. And I remember just kind of like being in there for a moment and then leaving and that kind of ended the dream, honestly. It was just this weird meetup with some Shadow Man voodoo guy. I don't know. It, it was very vivid, too. Like, I could describe the facial structure on this guy and such. And I myself, I could tell I was not myself. I was... I was darker skinned and I had weird clothes on. And it wasn't my body. It was someone else's body. Someone older, too. He was from the physiological visuals of, like, my body, what I, like, looking at your hands and such. It was, I think the guy I was in the dream was, like, in his mid-30s or something? Sometime in his 30s, I would assume, from how I looked. It was weird. It was extremely vivid. And I, the weird thing was, is I was having a horrible night last night, not being able to sleep. And I stayed up till like five in the morning, just watching Star Trek The Next Generation, trying to chill out. Eventually I did pass out and then I had that dream. I don't know, maybe Star, because I've already talked about Star Trek being a weird show. Maybe Star Trek's just giving my brain weird subconscious thoughts and I don't know, may, maybe the show's messing with my dreams a bit. Even though that plot has nothing to do 
with Star Trek, especially what I watched last night. Which was the Vulcans and the... God, who are the ones who are like them but hate them? There's Vulcan... And then there's the other guys. I forget the other guys' names. It's killing me right now. I can't believe I forgot who they are. But it's there. There's Leonard Nimoy there. It's like some sort of special thing. At the beginning of the episode, there is a tribute to the director guy who I'm aware passed around passed uh, away around 1991, so I assume that's when the episode was from. And they're... They had Riker, like, beat up a, Fere a very fat Ferengi and such to get coordinates on a ship or something. It was weird. Oh, come on. They're raining from the sky. <sighs> Damn it. Yeah, it's funny. I didn't really believe a lot of the people who I had seen been playing this today say how difficult the game is. It is pretty brutal, but you can't... It doesn't feel like you're making a lot of progress in this. You're just repeating this, like, the first two stages over and over and dying. <laughs> By the end of this, I'm probably going to be pretty damn good at 1-1 one, one, and 1-2. One, but jeez, this... Uh, how much of the game is supposed to be in this? If it's the whole game, then, like, only really good speedrunners or diehards for this thing are going to be able to really get good at it. Miss the mushroom. Whoa, okay, at random I'm now in Bowser's castle and I almost died. Mario! What is this? Oh, I can... These are bonus items, I guess. I'll take... A mushroom, I guess. I'm gonna try focusing on the jumping. Oh, come on, the Goomba was falling! Oh well. I was gonna- I was hopefully trying to get back up onto the top again, but that doesn't seem like that's happening. Oh boy. Well, that worked. <sighs> that didn't work. That didn't work! It's funny, it was raining today as well, so I was kind of in the mood to choose either between Ghost of Tsushima or continue Shenmue, which I had forgotten I actually started about two and a half months ago. <laughs> I had forgotten I did that. So, 
I'll probably continue Shenmue sometime next year. I kind of jumped the gun because... When I started that, a couple days later, I got pretty sick. So, I just kind of forgot about it, honestly. Oop, there goes the flower. I don't know when... Uh, maybe it'll just be something I do every so often, Shenmue 1. I don't know. I don't plan on abandoning it, it's just gonna be on... Elongated hiatuses, I guess. Maybe I'll just do it all at one burst if I get really motivated to do it, but... I started that game in a Shenmue mood, and... Becoming sick kind of took that away from me, I guess. And then I got sidetracked with other stuff like Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, this certainly makes this stage a lot easier for this game. Because you don't have to worry about all the... Oh, 1-4, yes. Get me in there. Okay, here we go. I'm probably going to attract a lot of attention now. Well, don't fall, Mario. Come on. Ooh, got barely hit by that fire. That sucks. Can I make it? There's Bowser. I don't care. Get the axe. Okay, I beat Bowser. Now I'm back at 1-1. One one. <laughs> what is this? Why am I at 1-1 one one again? Oh, this is stupid. Oh, come on. Ah, there we go. Killed by a Koopa. I still had 71 seconds, too. I got to 11th place. I beat Yummy Milk. That's something. There's a lot of Stevens in here. Steven S. Steven, all caps. Holy shit, we had Adele in here. Damn. I didn't know we were playing with superstars like that. Okay, I think I finally am gonna get to the next area. 2-1? Okay, this puts me at 1-1. One, one. I'm gonna be mildly disappointed and annoyed. And confused. Very confused. So far, this game is a mixture of... A little boring, addictive, and conf very confusing. It's 1-1 one, one again. They told me it was 2-1, but it's still 1-1. One, one. I feel like I'm losing my mind. And it's not like after you beat a level, you're guaranteed to get to the next one, obviously, because I've beaten some levels and gone backwards in levels sometimes and had to do redo them. Most obviously with the castle stage, I just then got sent back here. Ooh, momentum. Momentum got me there. Huge ass. Nice attempt at getting around the... sensors. I think the last time I did... When was the last time I did multiplayer with this game? Well, with the... In any game in general. I want to say... And it probably isn't right, but I want to say... Mario Maker 2 last year? Which would have been over a year ago. Why? I'm pushing A. You have to push B. 
I don't know, for some reason I thought both buttons would be tied to jump, but you can only use the Y and B button. I was jumping, it didn't let me jump. God damn it, I hate that the most when you hit the when you hit that block and then you get hit by the dumb goomba below it. I know that that's that's a classic dumb move. But goddamn does it not hurt you when you do it. Quite literally, both figuratively and literally. Well, literally in an emotional sense, it hurts your pride. It's like I'm supposed to be gamer. That was a not gamer move, my gamer bros. Saying that hurt me. I see all these enemies on the bottom chart and I'm just like, what the fuck is this? I'm, n I'm now noticing that bottom chart below the stage where it shows all the enemies and such and I'm just like, God, what am I getting myself into here? You know, I, I remember playing Tetris 99 maybe two or three times or whatever I did at the time. And I remember having a lot more fun than this with it. This is... This is alright. I can see people getting very good at this, but I personally am not the most keen on this just because of how brutal it is. I'm having fun in the addictive sense, and I know a lot of this is just re re regurgitation of what I've said before. But it, it's it has that fun addictive quality. It doesn't have that intrinsically fun thing. It's like Pokemon. It's like Pokemon Shield, where it's addictively fun in the routine of it. I'm not really having a whole lot of fun with this like I had with Pokemon Shield. I... I had a little fun with S.H.I.E.L.D. for some stupid moments, but I didn't really have any moments where I was like, Oh wow, this is a great game. I'm having some good times with this. I didn't really have that with S.H.I.E.L.D. I'm having that same feeling here where it's like, it's fine. I, it's fun in the moment, but as soon as I turn this off, I'm not really going to care about it. I'm running out of time. Need to get in that pipe. Mario, speed up, man. Speed up. One second. One second. Oh! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Shit. Surge, go back to Chrono Trigger. You didn't spell your name right either. It's an E, not a U. Toaster. A moon. You know, maybe I will speed up my release schedule if and I keep up this pace with video games, because I've been... Ever since I got uh, better from my sickness, at least for now, to my knowledge, I've been playing more stuff. So if that keeps up, I think I'll speed up my release table. This m might not come out on October 12th then like it was intended to. This might come out sooner. I do know that tonight... I need to start uploading to YouTube 
Okay, last time. Yeah, it's gonna be Mario Galaxy I need to put up. Which is funny because I'm already at part four, and yet I haven't uploaded part three yet even. And that's how backed up my games have been getting. I've already played through Donut County, which by the time this goes up will be up and obvious and all that. And I'm at Bowser's Castle now. Give me the mushroom! I will say that mushroom at the beginning is helpful, because then I don't really have to worry about getting it there and dying with for the Goomba and all that. I can just keep going forward. Unless I want to get hit by that Goomba, then you can uh, then you can go fuck yourself. Trying very hard not to die. It's funny, I'm so... kind of... I'm having that average fun with this, and, I, and I'm not gonna say the same thing for a third time. I know I reiterate stuff to get my point across, but this is actually making me want to play another game, just because... It's fine, and it's gotten me in a mood to play games, but it doesn't hold a candle to some other stuff. You know what it's kind of making me want to play? Honestly, now that I've mentioned it, Fast RMX. <laughs> Which is a much better game than this. Uh, I can either go back to the first stage, go back to the stage I'm already in. I'll go back to the first stage, then. Because... Winners don't do drugs, and 1-1 one, one is Bay. I'm saying a lot of terms that, once I say them, I am drastically regretting in my mind. These are words that are not in my normal vocabulary. I'm trying to be... hip with the kids. Get all those radical superfly terminology phrases of magic in there. I don't know. I'm getting bored with this game, quite honestly. <laughs> I'm getting so bored, I'm just saying bullshit crap. This is fine. I'm now just staring up at my Xbox One stuff, and I'm like, is there something better I could play? <laughs> Trombonius! I know a trombone, but I don't think that's him. Rainbow Star. I don't know why, but that spelling just reminds me of Warp Star from the Kirby TV show. What was his name? I forget the name of the statue thing that would do that. I'm forgetting too much of things, Koopa. It's weird because like I know it, it's on the tip of my tongue. But because I'm here doing this, it doesn't want me to go through with it for some reason. It's just like, okay, what, what's the name of the stupid statue? If I had my phone next to me, I'd know. But I don't. I don't think. No, I do not. I do not have it anywhere. Sit back down. Get ready for the game. Don't lose. Ah, uh, I thought I jumped in time.
Well, if I ever need footage of me playing 1-1, one, one, I sure got a heck ton of it. Don't get cocky with these guys. There we go. Ooh, ooh. Triple, triple shrooms. This isn't even Mario Kart. Oh, I just made that jump. 1-4. Oh, Mario, you dick. And I was trying to race through there with the iframes. That didn't work out, did it? Try and take this as seriously as I can. So far, so good. Yeah, so far, so good. One, four. Ooh, ooh, Mario, please don't do this now. Panic, panic. Okay. We're good. We got 20 seconds. Oh, what are these plants doing here? Run through the iframes. Run through the iframes. Oh, there was no fucking way I was gonna do that. Look at that. Look how many Goombas- look at the bottom. Look how many Goombas were still lined up in the way. There is no way I would have done that. Spicy Jesus. Let's try this. Use a fire flower at the beginning instead. If you can't really tell, I'm not really much of a competitive gamer. <laughs> I don't really care for what- I, I'm not even really trying to fight back against other players. I don't, I'm not even aware if I am. Like, I can see my crosshair going to different things and all that, but I don't know what is constituting any sort of attack on them. Maybe when I hit an enemy? Ah, come on. Like, I remember when Overwatch came out. I played it for maybe a month and then got... Ooh, got very bored with it. Because it was just so repetitive and I didn't find any interest in it. And the fact that it was an online game... At that point in time, I knew that the game would eventually go away. So I was like, why should I invest my time into a game that... I won't be able to play in like 10 years... After they shut down the servers or whatever. So that, that's my mindset with online games like this is... I'll check them out, but I'm not gonna play them for very long. 
I'll play them more so that I have played them and know what they are. But I don't really... I don't really care about these too much because they are disposable. They're disposable games. Which is a shame because they're part of gaming culture and history and all that. And they go away. And the only way to really preserve them is if they had any memorabilia, if they had a physical copy with them, or recording them like this, which is really the only way you can do it with this game, because there is no physical of this. Okay, starting out with a star this time. Seems to be doing pretty well. Although I'm still jumping over all the enemies. Okay, that took care of them. This ain't good. Alright, I can get to 2 1 from here. Is this the. F no, this isn't the first time I've been here. I think I've been here once before, yeah. But this is very uncommon to get here for me. So let's try to play decent. Ooh. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm just going full instinct mode. I'm not I'm not consciously doing anything. I actually watched some Doug last night as well before TNG. It's a pretty good show. I remember watching it as a little kid. Like a like a five or six year old. Just someone really small. And I remember enjoying it then, but I didn't fully understand it. It was trippy then, and watching it now, I'm actually remembering these episodes. Like, I do remember this stuff. And I do normally remember stuff from when I was like three or four and such, like birthday parties and weird things and going to the beach and stuff like that. I remember that. Which apparently is weird for people as well to have memory like that, but... And that's ironic. I can remember stuff like that and just tell you off the fly things like that, but I can't remember the races in Star Trek from the episodes of TNG I watched last night. Yet I could describe to you the details of clothing, the location, and facial features, the way we talked in the dreams I had last night. Yet I can't describe, like, the, the crap I watched right before that on BBC America. <laughs> ah, the brain is weird. Wait, 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 no. I don't want the star. Well, actually... What's this special battle? Active now until October 5th. Two... Three in the morning? Or three in the afternoon? It says 2.59. Is that AM or PM? I don't know. What is a special battle? A new special battle is now available. What is a special battle? It's a limited time event where you can play a set order of courses. The rules are similar to a regular 35 player battle, but with added special conditions, such as starting with 100 coins. Alright. Sounds interesting. Let's give it a go. I don't even know where we are. Okay, we got a mushroom immediately. I have no idea what that thing in the top is doing. 
I got like a, a fire flower combo with an invincibility star. Which is useful, I guess. Especially for this. There's Bowser. Okay, I was gonna say, I think I'm gonna fall. But it just warped me back to 1-1. One, one. Most people are dead somehow. Oh, that sucked. There are now ghost Bowsers everywhere. That was... squandered. This ain't going too great. I thought I was gonna fall down there. I'm not doing too half bad at this so far, although I'm feeling I'm gonna jinx myself. Ooh, I jinxed myself. I got I didn't even die by anybody's attacks. I just died on a normal Koopa. Oh man, I beat Dad. Okay, we're back here again. Okay, invincibility mushroom, that'll do. Invincibility mushroom, wow. What bootleg Mario would I be playing if that were the case? Okay, we're at 2-1. Jump over the piranha plant. Get hit by the mushrooms. Ooh, I jumped right into that. Mm, I keep, I keep face palming. I keep slapping my face. Ooh. Crispy Yotes. I don't know why, but I find this mode a little bit more amusing. I think just because you get a weird random item as well with it, and the levels are randomized? Maybe they're randomized, I'm not sure. I really don't know how the level selection works in this game. Because it has an amount of linear choices, like permanent choices, like the first stage is always the same in the normal mode, and then there's this mode that kind of just throws whatever at you. Mmm, star's fine. I would have preferred a mushroom, but this is good. Oh, come on, get me up there. Thank you. Whoa, this is new. Underwater. Oh boy. Aw, oh, I thought I could, like, bounce on top of the squids, I guess. I still had a ton of time left from that, too. You misspelled Aiden down there, bud. You're supposed to put the I before the D. Okay, back at 2-1.
Yeah, I don't know. I like this mode better. I, I like the randomness this version has compared to the 35 mode or whatever it is, the normal one. It seems this is more fun not knowing what levels you're going to be doing. And it makes everything a little bit more chaotic for the opponents as well, because I don't feel like I'm having as much of a problem against them here. Oh boy. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, back at the water level again. So maybe these aren't entirely randomized, but maybe they're various pre-selected groups of levels or something. Regardless, it's different enough to where it doesn't get boring. Oh, pow block. Okay, a new level. I forget what level this is in the normal game. Oh, this cheap cheeps. Ah, oh, lazy Cam's dad scorching big boy Ron. I hear a dog howling in some neighbor's yard a long distance away. It's like a big hound dog or something that's going, ooh. I think I'll do a few more matches of this. I'm getting kind of burnt out of it, though. I, th I think I've gotten my taste of it. I've spent an hour in this game. I've gotten my taste of it. I don't think I'm going to come back to this unless they do some sort of update or if, like, something new happens with it, which I don't think there will be since this is not going to stay around forever. There's no real need to improve a game like this. Well, I'm the first one dead, I think. No, I wasn't somehow. I'll do one more of this, and one more of the normal one as the last one. Regardless if I do well or not. If I die instantly, I die instantly. You know, if you stare at that Mario running animation for the loading screen, you start to see him moving backwards. Okay, we're at the castle. Pound block was very useless. So far, I'm doing all right. Now I've just squandered it. Thanks, the universe. You love doing that to me, don't you? Soon as I say something, isn't that how it works? As soon as you break the normalcy, as soon as you break the wall of being complicit with what reality is doing, you get screwed over by it. It's the same with, like, and this is getting more into philosophy and stuff, but it's the same with wild animals. As soon as you notice that they're there, birds like to fly away and such. If you're complicitly just doing your own thing and you're sidetracked, you're reading a book, you're having some food. As soon as you notice the animal, it notices as well and it runs away. I don't know, it's some sort of natural reaction or something like that. It's just a thing. Gotta watch the skies for fish. That is a phrase you rarely say every day. Gimme. Oh, 
God damn it. Oh, we have squids. We have squids, do we? Ah, oh, come on. Well, that was... That was whatever this mode is that's currently going on. I got an icon. Creme bro, whoa. Yeah, special battle. Whatever this was. Stats. I guess the timer doesn't count time in wait menus and other things, because I have played this for about an hour and ten minutes. Ish. Maybe a little less. Enemies beaten. I have killed 436 Goombas and 80 Koopas, four Bowsers. None of these guys. What are the options? Those are some very diverse options. Is course practice just... Oh, okay, I've unlocked all these, I guess, from doing them in the other mode. I assume course practice is just doing it by yourself. Let's see how it is. I'll do one. Yeah, it is just yourself by yourself in whatever. This one actually lets you choose the stage to play, huh? So you can kind of play normal Mario Brothers on your own with a stage select doing this. So that's a thing. Let's do one more 35 multiplayer. No, 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 I don't want the superstar. Why does it keep giving me that? Let's just go with Mushroom this time. Oh, and now I chose the wrong stage. Game, please. Come on. There we go. Let's get this on a roll. But yeah, I think I'm going to play something else after this as well. This has kind of made me just want to play something else that's random. But now I'm just trying to brain blast what I want to do. Jimbo. Uh, Jimbo, once you're done playing with your little friends, we're going to head over to the... Candy... Well, I, f uh, I forgot what the place... The, the stupid malt shop that they go to. Whatever. We're gonna go to Retro Land and get some purple flirt. There we go, that's Jimmy Neutron. How do I have such little time? Yo, that shell is vibing. Well, now I got all my time back. Ooh, that sucks. We'll do one more. We'll do one more. Hey, Annie, we'll do some one more. Just one more for the money. I'll buy you a new pod racer if you win in the Mario 35. It's the newest game. I, I know all the kids are playing it. And you've been a good boy this year, so we'll get you the game in the Nintendo Switch.
Okay, so far so good. Oh boy. Oh boy. Whatever I get should be good this time. That'll work. I don't care. Get me up on the roof. Come on. Oh! 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 That was some wizardry. I fully accepted death in that moment. But the universe said no. We're gonna put a platform here and save him. Game, please. Spare me. I asked it to spare me. And because I asked for something, it giveth me death. Well... That's about it, I think. I'm 21 now, I can get a drink. Woohoo, I hit 21 years ago. So we got DJ, Pokemon Boy, Orbit, Dog, 2004. That dog is probably dead by now by time estimates of the average dog lifespan. Way too loud. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. So that was Mario 35. I'm not the biggest fan of it. It's it's I'm glad I played it. I'm glad I checked it out because it's still a little bit of an anomaly to me and just like what how do the levels work? How does it choose any of that stuff? Is there really a random nature to it as or is it pre-organized and it just selects from a pre-organization of some things for it? Like, what is the deal? I don't know. I don't really care anymore at this point. <laughs> but I can say I've played this. That's the thing. I can say I played this game. I gave it a good shot. It was fine... I guess? I had... I had that addictive kind of fun, not the authentic... fun game kind of fun. So... I'll remember this game for being a little bullshit and a little stupid, but it was a game in the future whenever the game goes away, if it does go away even. If it doesn't, then congrats, the game is saved. You can play this whenever, until the Switch server shut down in like 10 or 15 years. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna move on to play something else. If so, I'll probably put that video up the day after this one goes out. And I think I'll speed up my release schedule as well, given how many games I've been playing. Like, I've already played... I'm already at the Garden Mario Galaxy. I'm at the last dome there. And have most of the stars. So... And yet, most of the people... Like, I, I've bas I can go and beat the game already and such... I could beat the game today if I wanted to. But I just have kind of drawn out the video. I've been trying to put one up every two days. I'm try I've been trying to do some sort of mock-up scheduling like I had at the beginning of the year that I lost by May and didn't really have anything over the summer. And since about late August, I've been trying to do this one every two day video thing, which has worked out great for me. But now I've been playing so many games recently that it's starting to get backed up a bit and is now I have content that I did like a week ago today that's coming out in mid-October <laughs> so it's just like mm, maybe I should speed up the schedule a bit because we're starting to back up we're, we're getting a fat berg and don't look that up don't look up what a fat berg is on Google you will regret it it's when your drainage thing for your toilet and all that gets backed up with toilet paper and shit and 
and all this other shit. Do not look up a picture of what these things look like. They are horrible. Just know that this is why you have to get plumbers out to your little box that's out like half a mile away from your house and fix it once your thing backs up. That is why. <laughs> it's starting to become one of those. So I need to speed up my posting of my videos and stuff because I have too much stuff now. Anyway, that was a gross... That's, that's the only metaphor I could think of at the moment. It's just like... Uh, whatever. The game's fine. Mario is Mario. And yeah, that's about it. So thanks for watching. <laughs> thanks for coming out. And uh, see you next time. Have a good night.